fit into that show. And then I have another series over here called Silky Strike Force. Uh, looks like a comic book at first, so, but it's not. It's a, it's a full-on novel series, four books in the, in the series. Basically, that is Suicide Squad meets G.I. Joe. So I've got a genetic engineering for the powers, um, secret government experiment, of course, it always is, right? And then the villains are called the Deadly Sin Squad, and their powers are based on the seven deadly sins. So that was pretty cool to write. Uh, and that's, that's my spiel in a nutshell, but this is about you guys. So and what kind of questions would you have? Nope. Let me think for something. Okay, cool. Well, no worries. I'll just, while you guys think, I'll just tell you my story. I started writing 20 years ago. Um, I actually was reading an author named Dean Koontz. I don't know if you know who that is. Um, and his book inspired me so much, I was like, I want to do what he does. So I started trying to write. Um, actually, I self published when it wasn't cool to do so way back in the day. And <laughs> that book to this day is called uh, The Crescent. It's about female gladiators, and I did that about 2005, I think it was. And right now, it's in the process of being turned into a movie. So you never know what's going to happen. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, I'm the only author who's got invited to come. I know, me too. I just, I just want to have started a couple of Oh, hey! Really? I didn't think I Yeah, how are you doing? Um, so anyway, for me, the process of writing has just evolved from there. Uh, the way that I, I just learned by reading, oh, where are you going to say this? Reading other authors, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I watch a lot of TV because depending on what's, what it is, they get really good character development or, you know, the plot lines are really intricate. Daredevil is a great example of that because the one on Netflix, I don't know how they're going to change it now that it's on Disney Plus, but the one on Netflix was heavily character driven and it had like a really good plot to it. So, uh, if any kind of inspiration I can pull from, from different resources, for example, let me show you. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> so, book two in my Vegas Vigilante series, uh, I've got a myth, a myth from like Valhalla, Odin, Thor, but the mythology, not the DC or not the Marvel uh, Thor. And I got inspiration for this from playing a game called Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so it was really interesting because I was writing this and I started playing the game at the same time. I was like, oh, this this weaves together nicely. So uh, I got a lot of like a lot of the language that they used in the old times, and I could like drop it into the book as well. So anywhere you can like pick up inspiration is is ideal. Where do you get inspiration? For this book, I worked in the music industry for 10 years in the 1990s. So just write what you want to write and you'll find your audience for it. My books are super niche. Uh, they don't really fall into, they fall into multiple categories, but I'm not trying to follow a trend. I'm trying to be the first me. So um, that and uh, learn marketing, but first and foremost, write the book. Mm-hmm. 